What's up guys, this is iPhones and iPods, and um, today I have something pretty cool to show you. It's going to require some work in a computer, and knowledge of SSHing, but it's worth it. And it's how to make your icons rotate when you rotate your iPhone or iPod Touch. And this is a really cool mod that I've come to really like. And um, I'll show you how to do it. And um, also, if you do not know how to SSH... I'll have a link in the description to a great video. So, I'll get right into it. Alright guys, so what you're going to want first is to have OpenSSH installed on your iPhone or iPod Touch. And obviously you have to have Cydia for this. So, um, And you don't have to add any sources. Just when you go into Cydia, just go to search and type in all one word, OpenSSH, and get that. That's the first thing you need to do. And then um, the second thing you need to do is get the SSHing application and I'll have both links in the description I'll have two videos in the description I think in there by Will DTA and it's how to SSH one is for Mac and one is for PC and they're great tutorials so I'll have that in the description next thing you're gonna want is this the uh, springboard spinboard um, application and I'll have a link to that in the description and it's it's this little file right here, and it's a, it's a dot .dylib. It's kind of weird, but just get that installed, and don't open it or anything. All right, now once you have your SSHing program and the program on your iPhone or iPod Touch, you're going to want to connect your iPhone or iPod Touch to your computer. All right, now once you have everything connected, you're going to, in your SSHing program, for me, I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to hit this up arrow right here three times. And so I'm on the um, main menu, and I'm going to go click on library. And I'm going to go down to mobile substrate, and in there, in mobile substrate, I'm going to click on mobile dynamics. Now, once you're in mobile dynamics, you're going to want to get your um, spring spinboard file, which is mine's on my uh, desktop, and all you have to do is. Um, Simply drag it into the into the dynamic libraries file, and all you have to do is just drag it in there, and make sure that you are connected, because this is not it's not going to show it's not going to do anything on your um, iPhone or iPod Touch yet. So once you all you have to do is just simply drag it in, and I already have done that. And once you've dragged it in, you're going to want to quit out of your program. And once you've done that, you have to respring your iPhone or iPod Touch to initiate the mod. So I have Boss Pref, so I'm going to do a quick springboard. You could also just turn it off or on. So I'm going to go to Power and do a fast respring. And just let it do its thing. And if you've come up with any, if you're confused at any part in this process, Please watch those videos in the link in the description because it doesn't get any easier. It's really simple, and if you just list, if you just follow those um tuto tu if you just follow those tutorials, one for Mac, one for PC, you should be totally fine. This is really simple, and um, once you've done that, once you've resprung, you've got your mod. It's pretty simple. Really important um. When you've dra when you've dragged this, the file into here, you have to quit out before you um. You have to quit out of your SSHing program before um before you respring, or else it won't work. And it's pretty simple, guys. I know some of you might have some questions, but if you watch those videos in the description, it should clear everything up, and it's really simple. And this is a great mod. It's also still in beta stage. I've heard it doesn't work as well for iPod Touches, but I could be wrong. I've seen many people doing it. And, um, yeah, it's pretty simple, guys. That's how you get it. Great mod.